Greater Waves, now loading. Music artists not only create music that provides the soundtrack for generations of people, but the really creative ones provide a platform for things outside of music by allowing other things to be on display in their world. They provide representations of lifestyle. The foundation of Pharrell's creative contribution to the world has been music. As a member of production duo The Neptunes with Chad Hugo producing for the likes of Nori, Khalees, Clips, Beanie Man, Jay-Z, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake and others. Pharrell has provided access to his perspective across different realms of lifestyle when it came to footwear and clothing. As for accessories, he co-designed the LV Millionaire sunglasses with Nigo in 2007 and released the Blazon jewelry collection for LV that he did with Camille Michelli, who was an in-house jewelry designer back in 2008. Tapped into contemporary art with the Simple Thing Sculpture in collaboration with Takashi Murakami and Jacob the Jeweler in 2009, which contained seven models of consumer products handpicked by Pharrell that were placed inside it. A can of Pepsi, a cupcake, Johnson's baby lotion, Hans tomato ketchup, a bag of Doritos, a Trojan Magnum condom, and a billionaire boys club dream. Pharrell went on to do the same thing with furniture design going from the streets to the home. Leading up to his first furniture design venture, Pharrell was grieving the death of his aunt, which was a dark period for him in his life. Around this time, he met gallerist Emmanuel Periton, who, after they met, suggested exploring furniture design as a vehicle for his creative expression at the time. And this is something Pharrell was open to because he always had ideas for furniture design that he hadn't explored yet. Pharrell teamed up with Demore and Perez in 2008, the design studio founded by Bruno Demore and Philippe Perez to create a chair called Perspective. Pharrell said it represented the love between a man and a woman. Each chair had two legs of a man at the back and two legs of a woman at the front representing physical intimacy between the two. Sitting in someone else's position and experiencing what it's like to be in love. Pharrell said, I had often wondered what it's like to be truly in love, not just lust for once. So I decided not to ask what it was like in someone else's shoes or what it was like to sit in their seat. I decided to sketch out my own experiment. The perspective shift. If her legs are like this, it's sexual. If it's like this, it's not. If it's like this, it's less. The pigeon toe is like she's getting business done to her. The chairs were made available at Paris's Gallery Peloton from October 2008 to January 2009 and produced in an addition of four in each color, red, black, turquoise and yellow. 
I've come to believe that nothing's impossible if you imagine it. There's nothing new under the sun. When you've moved, you've moved. And you should seize the moment to express the feeling. It's the moment of expression that I define as art. I think after the first experience with furniture design, there was an urge on Pharrell's part to keep it going and explore more opportunities to create. Pharrell's Tank Chair in 2010, in collaboration with the Emmanuel Periton Gallery, was inspired by men and women that joined the military, putting themselves in a position where there's no looking back, where they end up in wars far, far away from home. The chairs were in baby colors to steer away from anger-driven symbolism. This piece continued with the theme from his perspective chair piece, which was based on putting yourself in the shoes of others and having curiosity about their perspective and their experience. At his exhibition, his war-inspired poem was on display. How does a young person decide to engage in a battle that does not seem to be hers or his? I'm standing in the mirror, shadow boxing, kicking us. And I thought, how laughable the macho version of me. Ha. But could I be? It takes guts and a reason. Or is it innate? Is it simply in a man's nature to fight and show his colors apart? The scars of experience? Things he does not like, so he fights. One man once said, war is not the answer. But those of us born in this world, ambitious with the taste of change may not always understand the social methods of the same. Instead, we seek and cure our curiosities of sharing our views by any means of a vessel, expression. We believe art is the alteration of existence and that which provides thought. So in reference to Marvin Gaye's brilliant question, I ask myself, what was the question? When my thought was met with a silence that was so thick it could be cut, it made me ask myself this. Then what must it be like to be young and serve? What if you couldn't pay your tuition? What if it is simply family tradition? What if you thought it was the right thing to do? Wow. To sit in the seats of our youth, as well as others, fighting for a series of reasons, most of which can be argued and debated. But being young and having your own reason? Whoa. To wake up and make up your mind that you found a reason to stand amongst the brave. Where loss at least on some levels are inevitable, even if it's just time. The only answer is that which is square. Intentions divided by behavior, which is then divided by reality should equal to one's truth. Yes, our government too should exercise this regularly. If we would spend love and time like we do money, we never go broke. But then again, who am I to fool or what am I trying to fix? I'm just a guy in the mirror trying to imagine what it must be like to be young, heading into war. I'm sorry, how rude of me. I've left you standing, I'm sorry. Please do, have a seat. Most people spend their lives in dreary, beige conformity, mortality, afraid of using colors. The main purpose of my work is to provoke people into using their imagination and make their surroundings more exciting. Werner Panton, a Danish architect, had an approach of integrating pop art into furniture design. Werner Panton came up under the mentorship of 
on Jacobson, who is credited as a pioneer in functional furniture, lighting, and interior in the 20th century. Bernard Panton's living landscapes was a major theme in 1960s design. Werner Panton, who was constantly searching for new ideas for the home, made a variety of interesting and original contributions to the screen, championing more comfort, more of an experience, and more color. This became the foundation of his style when it came to furniture. His living tower chair is an organically shaped piece that can be used at four different levels. Panton felt that it was important to strengthen the connection between people and their surroundings. The living tower fosters communication, interaction, and encourages playful experiences. Furniture design that taps into your inner child. Steve Lacey's Apollo 21 album cover displayed the orange version of Werner Panther's Living Tower Chair, a creative and unique chair that will continue to be connected to that album and has introduced a lot of his fans to it. I like the demonstration that Lil Yachty gave of the Living Tower Chair that he bought for his home. His model was purple and you can really tell that the living tower chair provides that gamification experience where reaching the top is almost like reaching the Maui top in your own home. Being able to experience the different levels of the chair on your way to the top is like a game within itself. I want to show you guys my new couch. It's pretty weird and wicked. And you guys are like, what the fuck? How do you sit on that? Hmm, I'll show you. All right, that's me sitting like a normal human being on the edge of it. Yes, sitting normal. There's me laying, a sleepy boat, relaxing and living life to the fullest of capacity. Yes, jungle boy boat, sitting in a curious way. And that's me at the top, because bitch, I'm at the top, bitch. <laughs> Frank Ocean is a fan of furniture design himself and years back posted the picture on his Instagram of him laying down on his Pierre Poulain dune sofa. These examples bring together music fans and lovers of furniture design. It provides some insight into the types of lifestyle items that music artists bring into their world. Their choice of furniture design reflects their creativity and the type of environment that they create within their own homes or places of comfort. Where not only are their careers driven by creativity, but also this creativity is brought to the home for a playful and an imaginative way of living. 